cabin fever. With Arthur Shappy. Today, hang on. Da, da, da. Ditton. I did the complicated bit. Hello gang, welcome to the stairs. I'm on the stairs because it is 3.15 and Martin said on Skype the other day that it was good to try to get into a routine to do uh, things at the same time every day. So I was going to borrow his routine but it is quite complicated and I don't have a cross trainer or a, a home aircraft simulator. I don't really need to know all of the cantons of Liechtenstein off by heart. She might just the best two will be fine. Uh, so instead, I've uh, worked out my own routine, and uh, part of it is what you see from 3.05 to 4.25 every day in this granny flat, the sun comes through this window onto the stairs. So that hour is now Sun Time Stair Time Book Reading Club. Because books are brilliant! It turns out books are really brilliant. Um, it's not just White Fang, loads of them are brilliant. Um, so I've been reading some of Granny's books. Well, I've been reading the first bit because I'm a really slow reader. So what I thought I'd do is read the first bit of quite a few and then work out the best one and then I can read all of that. So the books I've read so far, the first bit of, are uh, My Family and Other Animals. That was brilliant. Um, Meccano Magazine, May 1954 edition. That was brilliant. It was a whole bit about aeroplanes. Uh, the Hound of the Baskervilles, that was really brilliant. Uh, Bear Island, quite brilliant, but no bears yet. Maybe they're coming later. Uh, Meccano Magazine, October 1955 edition, quite brilliant, but didn't quite hit the heights of 1954, I would say. Also, there is quite a lot about Meccano in it, and at no point does it say what Meccano actually is. Uh, and then there was A Discourse on Method by Rene Descartes which is, is quite brilliant. Um, it's taking a while for the story to get started. It's my only criticism, Rini, if you're listening. Uh, so, oh, the one, though, that I absolutely read cover to cover, because once I started reading it, I couldn't stop, was this one. It is the best of Jane Grigson's soups. Now, I hadn't heard of Jane Grigson, but it turns out she's this really famous soup woman, and these are 50 of her best soups and it really is such a page turner because she just keeps coming up with things you can put in a soup just when you think she can't possibly think of anything else to put in a soup she comes up with another soup so she's got uh, tuscany bean soup that's one of her best soups uh she's got um she's got uh, pea soup that's one of her best soups pea and ham soup that's not the same soup because she's put ham in it this time uh turkey and hazelnut soup i would never have thought of that maybe one but not both so I, I'm going to have a go at one of these. I'm going to do, um, where was it? I'm going to do mushroom soup. Now, uh, she says about this one, if you cannot buy dried Polish keps at the delicatessen, Italian fungi porcini will do just as well. So that's a relief, isn't it? I'm probably just going to use the mushrooms that come in the tin of tinned mushrooms that I've got, but it's good to know there's options. There'll probably be one of those two types anyway, because how many types of mushroom can there be? Mind you, I'd have said that about soups before I met Jane. Uh, talking of kitchen things, mouse update. The mouse is still brilliant. I saw it three more times uh, since I last spoke to you, twice when it was feeling brown, once when it was feeling gray, and on every occasion it was brilliant. Also, thank you so much for the amazing mouse names you sent in. They are so good. I wrote down loads of them. Here they are. Basically, I could have called the mouse any of these things because they are all brilliant. Uh, but in the end, I have narrowed it down to my favourites, and those are these. The Wizard Murloc said, call it Reg, because it Reg is Gertie backwards. And it is. I checked it out with a pencil and he's absolutely right. I must admit, when I first saw the Wizard Murloc's name, I thought, I bet he's not really a wizard. But that is exactly the sort of thing a wizard would know. And then the Wizard Marnock continues, muttering through his beard, and it's the opposite of Gertie, because a mouse can't fly, that's bats you're thinking of. He's right again, I was thinking the bats at that exact moment. Thank you, Wizard Marnock, you magical guy. Uh, Sanford's Most Wanted, who's come up with a brilliant idea, even though they seem to be a dangerous criminal, says, if the mouse is a bit brownish, comes in miniature, and keeps turning up in unexpected places, maybe a good name for it would be Talisker. 
That's brilliant. That would be a brilliant name for it. Sanford's Most Wanted. Thank you. I hope you turn over a new leaf soon. Uh, book seven broke my brain. Oh, sorry about that. Says, my dear Arthur, you should name the mouse Legion for reasons which will become apparent shortly. Oh, another mystery. Uh, thank you, book seven. I hope your brain feels better soon. Uh, Ellen Vise, or Wise, says, you should call the mouse Strawberry because you're not allowed to have strawberry. And this will remind you, you're not allowed to have a mouse either. That is a very good point. The only thing, though, is I'm afraid you've forgotten that I'm not naming the mouse anything, because I promised I wouldn't. You're naming it. And maybe you can have strawberry. I don't know. So, my favourite one. You see, quite a lot of people, for some reason, I think they misunderstood, and they suggested two names, like I had two mice. I've only got the one mouse. Uh, but, Beth C suggested two names for one mouse, which is brilliant. Now, actually, quite a few people suggested this, but Betsy gave the best reason, and also she remembered that it's her naming the mouse, not me. And she says, maybe our mouse wants different names depending on when it, you see it and what colour it is. So maybe when you see it in its brown, you call it Fizz, and when you see it in its grey, you call it Buzz. Well, that's brilliant, because, and there's no way Beth could have known this, but just by coincidence, that is also the name of this amazing game I love playing. So now I can play it whenever I see the mouse, and it will be like seeing a mouse and playing a game, which is two of my favourite things at the same time. So thank you so much, Beth C. That is what we're going to call it. It is now Fizz Buzz the Mouse. Fizz when it's grey, buzz when it's brown. Fantastic. Oh, and for next time, uh, I thought of a game that we can play. Uh, this is another one we used to play on the aeroplane. Um, I'm going to put something in this tin, okay? And then, if you put in the comments questions which I could answer yes or no, then I'm going to pick 20 of those questions, and then I'm going to ask myself them, and then reply to myself. And then you can listen to the replies and work out what's in the tin, yeah? Or I'll give it a go. Oh, this, 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 this. And buzz. <laughs>